All right, great morning to you. God bless you. Uh, we greet you this morning in the marvelous, wonderful name of Jesus Christ. This is the day that the Lord has made, and we shall rejoice and be glad in it. If you're watching and tuning in with us uh, live on this magnificent Monday morning, it is the first day of April, and we want to greet you this morning. And welcome, if you're watching and tuning in with us live, make sure you hit that like button, like, subscribe, click the bell and click all so you can be notified when we go live. Happy Monday to you. It is the first day of April and uh, it's a privilege to be on your timeline. If you're watching and tuning in with us, wherever you are, uh, let's greet some people this morning. Great morning to you. Mommy Vaughn in Chicago, great morning to you. Z Money, great day to you. Linda Roberts, great morning to you. Welcome this morning, Vivian and Alvin Allen. Great day to you. Valley Lorraine, great morning. If you're watching and tuning in, let me know you're there. Say hello to me. Uh, great morning to you, Carolyn. Great morning to you, Beverly Morrison. Great day to you, Sean, Norbert, and Miss Elizabeth. Great morning to you. Nigel, great morning to you this morning. Donette in Jamaica. Great morning to you. Dimitri, Dr. Dimitri, great morning to you. Um, welcome this morning. Latonia, blessings to you. Renee, great morning to you. Ms. Darlene, great morning to you. Debbie, great morning to you. Ms. Teresa, great morning to you. Letitia, great morning to you. If you're watching and tuning in, do me a great favor. Uh, let me know you're on and you're in. If not, if you're watching the replay, hit that, hit that like button. Come on, do me a favor this morning. It is the first day of April. Come on, this is a faith day, not a fool day. Yeah, we're not walking in the foolishness of God. We're walking in the faith. Come on. There is no foolishness in this day for us. And so we just declare it. We're in the faith season. Great morning to you, Barbara. Great morning to you, uh, Jennifer. Welcome this morning. Come on. I feel like praying this morning. If you're watching, whenever you're, however you're watching, great day to you, Frankie. Costa Rica is on. Welcome this morning. Father, we thank you and we bless you for this month. We thank you for this day. This is the day that you have made and we shall rejoice and be glad in it. Lord, we honor you. We give you glory. We give you honor. We give you praise today. And we thank you for this place of entering in. We thank you for this new beginning. I thank you for this reset in this month. Lord, as we pray, we seek you. We seek your face. We seek your kingdom. As we seek first the kingdom of God, Lord, let your kingdom come. Let your will be done on earth as it is in heaven, in our atmosphere, in our environment. Lord, we pray for those that are connecting right now, those that are tuning in in the north, the south, the east, the west. We thank you today, Father, for an opportunity to pray. We thank you for an opportunity to stand in the gap. We thank you for the assignment of intercession. We thank you for, Lord, the purpose and the mandate, Father, we establish this month. Yeah, we established this month. We established this month of April. We establish it in your word. We establish it in your way. Lord, we believe the report of the Lord. We thank you this morning, Father, for your power, for your presence, for your purpose. Lord, as we pray this morning, we pray not our will, but your will be done. We pray Psalms 91 over every house and every home this morning. God, we thank you, Father, as we dwell in the secret place of the Most High, we shall abide in the shadow of the Almighty. And we declare, Father, we will fear no evil. And we thank you, Father, that you are with us. And we thank you for divine protection in this month, in this moment, in this season. We thank you, Father, for ministering angels that are encamped around us. We thank you today, Father, that you are over our homes, over our families, over our children, over our marriages, over this season, over this month. Lord, we pray right now by faith. We build ourselves up in our most holy faith. We thank you for the power of Holy Spirit. And we thank you, Father, for the power of your word. Uh, for Jesus Christ is the living word. He is the way, the truth, and the life. And he says in his word that no man cometh to the Father but by him. And so we come in this morning, entering into your gates with thanksgiving, entering into your courts with praise, blessing you with the fruit of our lips. Lord, coming with an expectation for this month, not of doom and gloom, 
Lord, but God, we thank you, Father, for new beginnings and new things that you are doing. Lord, we come today standing, Father, on your promises, for the promises of God are yes and amen. We thank you, Father, that as we put on the full armor this morning, I feel like praying today. Lord, we put on the armor this morning. We put on the helmet of salvation. Come on, somebody, as you're tuning in and as you're connecting this morning, we put on the helmet of salvation today, Father. We thank you for renewing our mind. And Father, we thank you for the mind of Christ today. We thank you for the mind set to know, Father, as we think on things above. Lord, we thank you, Father, that in this season, Lord, whether it be warfare or whether it be worship, Lord, we put on the helmet of salvation this morning. We put on the full armor. And Father, with this salvation, Father, we thank you. Lord God, that we have access. We thank you, Father, that we have an inheritance. We thank you, Father, that, Lord, you are showing us the way. Lord, we thank you that even as we put on the helmet, Lord, you're giving us a perspective. Lord God, you're giving us the ability to hear. Lord, for you said, my sheep, hallelujah, know my voice and another they will not follow. And so, Father, we thank you for being a voice in this season, for speaking for guiding, for ordering our steps in your word. Lord, the steps of a good man and woman are ordered by the Lord. Hallelujah. So, Father, I thank you this morning for ordering our steps today. Mm -hmm. I thank you for guiding us. I thank you for giving us feet that are planted and rooted and grounded and are stable. Lord, I thank you for stability in this season. Everything that is unstable, everything that is shakable, Father, you said that you will shake heaven and earth and so this morning hallelujah we declare father that there is a shaking in the spirit that there is a shaking in this season and father we are grounded mm -hmm. in jesus name listen you know when you are in a when something is under construction the construction workers right can't come into the workplace can't come into the environment without a helmet without a helmet come on in this season right we want you to put on the helmet of salvation the helmet of salvation says i will not be deceived i will not be confused i will not be distracted right i will not be walking in fear but i will walk in faith in this season uh, are you getting this today i feel like praying this morning so we just gonna press in on this sound on this track right on this thought today lord i thank you today for the breastplate of righteousness for lord as we put on the breastplate this morning we declare that we are the righteousness of God. And we thank you, Father, because of the cross, because of the blood, because of resurrection power. Lord, we can watch walk this morning in, in, in resurrection righteousness. Hallelujah. Resurrection righteousness. Hallelujah. In every aspect of our life, Lord, we thank you for the blessed breast, breast plate of righteousness. Lord, we gird our loins with truth today. Lord, we thank you today, Father, for the sandals of peace. Lord, that as we walk, as we go, we speak peace over this month. Lord God, we speak it, Father, in every city, every region, from the north, the south, the east, and the west. I speak peace over your life. We declare it today. We establish it today. We come against every form of confusion. We come against every form of chaos. Lord, from city to city, from region to region, we speak divine peace in Jesus' name. May his supernatural shalom be in your life. May it be in your thoughts. May it be even in your rest. May it be even in your sleep. May it be even in your home. We speak it over your children. We speak it over your marriage. We speak it over your business. We speak it over those things that concern you, that we walk and we live in his perfect peace. Are you getting this this morning? Are you joining and are you listening uh, by faith today? Or are you just tuning in uh, just to get encouraged? Come on in Jesus name. We tapping in today and we're walking today by by faith in the peace that surpasses all understanding in Jesus name. And we thank you today, Father, for the shield of faith, which protects us, which guards us from every fiery dart of the enemy. Lord, we thank you that you have placed a shield around us. Lord, we thank you for your divine favor. We thank you for your ministering angels. We thank you, Father God, for the word that surrounds us and wraps us and keeps us. And we stand on that word today. Lord, as we come today, Father God, we pick up the sword of the spirit. Hallelujah. Why? This is the word of God. And we thank you for the word in this in this season that is quick, is powerful and sharper than any two edged sword. Lord, we pray today for the word, Lord God, to be a light. Lord God, to be a directive, 
Lord God, to be a foundation in this season. Lord, every word that you have spoken through scripture, every word that you have spoken prophetically, every word that we have memorized, confessed. David said, thy word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against thee. Shabbat He said, thy word have I, he didn't say, come on, thy way. He said, thy word in Jesus name. Come on. Have you hidden the word this morning in your heart? Is there a scripture that you need to meditate on? Is there a thought that you need to put in your heart that will keep you, that will sustain you, that will direct you? Father, I thank you that your word says, Lord, you desire to cleanse us and make us new. And so give us a clean heart, renew a right spirit in us. And we thank you, Father, for the spirit of your word. We thank you for the sword of the spirit. And Lord, we pray today, Father God, that every enemy that will try to come against us. We thank you that in your word says you have given us power to bind and to loose in Jesus name. And so with today, Father, we take authority over principalities, rulers of darkness, spiritual wickedness and high places in Jesus name. Father, we pray today, Lord God, against every assignment of the enemy, Lord God, that is coming against this nation in the name of Jesus. Lord, we pray right now against mass casualties. We pray against mass destruction. We pray against mass confusion. Lord, we come against every demonic assignment that's been assigned against, Lord God, our databases. Lord, we pray against, Lord God, in Jesus' name. Father God, every form of attack, every form of disruption, Father God, concerning technology, Lord God, concerning Father, our economy. And Lord, we pray right now that you would expose the hand of the enemy in Jesus name. Father God, every demonic spirit that comes in as a Trojan horse that tries to come in sneaking, that tries to come in undermining. Father, we pray in the name of Jesus that you will expose it, that you will se that you will sever every database and every form of command communication and father those things that have been sent out as an attack against this nation we come against it in Jesus name we speak over this year we speak over this month Lord God where there will be shortages Lord God we thank you that you're bringing abundance father God where there be where there be disruptions father God I thank you that you are bringing your destiny and your power in Jesus name hallelujah are you listening this morning I feel like praying Father, I thank you today, Father, that no weapon formed against us, it will not prosper. And every tongue that rises against us, every foreign tongue, Father God, every demonic tongue, in Jesus' name, we declare by the blood of Jesus that the gates of hell will not prevail over our houses, over our homes, over our cities, in the name of Jesus. Come on, every form of cyber attack that's coming against our databases, that's coming against, come on, Father God, in Jesus' name, everything that we're connected to in the internet. Father, we pray today in Jesus' name, Father, that you would dismantle, Father God, that you would disrupt, Father God, that you will bring confusion in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Come on, in Jesus' name. We declare that. We declare that all this month. In Jesus' name. One thing that we realize, regardless of where it came from or how it came about, what we realize from last week, what we realize uh, from the things that have taken place, come on. Uh, we know that the enemy is trying to raise his head, but the enemy is defeated, right? And we declare and decree in Jesus' name that there will not be any mass casualties or mass attacks that will affect in Jesus name um, this morning. I want to pray for as you watching and tuning in. Great morning to you. We just tapping in in prayer this morning. We establishing this month in prayer. We are establishing this month, this day. This is not a day for fools, but this is a day for faith. And so I don't I'm, we're not playing today. And this is not a joke. This is not uh, we're not here. We're not feeding off of rumors. Come on, we're feet. Come on. We're standing in righteousness. And because we have the authority to legislate, because we have the authority to declare and to decree, because we have the authority to disrupt everything. Listen, I don't know what's going to happen on the eighth, but what I do understand what's going to happen. Come on in Jesus name is that God will be glorified this month, every day of this month, the first through the 31st. I don't know if it's 31 days in this month. Let me see. I don't know. I don't look at the end. The end of a thing is better than the beginning. Let me begin it first in Jesus name. The first through the 
through the 30th of this month is a blessed month. Every day, every mission, every moment of this month, we declare over you and over your family. Come on in Jesus name. If you're watching and you're tuning in, invest this broadcast, invest this time in somebody, share it with somebody and tell them we will not be defeated. We will not accept anything this morning. We won't feed into the, the propaganda and to the media and to the stress and to the lies. In Jesus' name, I don't know what is to come, but we know that Jesus Christ is Lord and he is glorified today. And so we declare that the 30 days of this month, that no weapon, no assignment, nothing that the enemy sends in Jesus' name. Yeah, there may have been some warnings. There may have been some words, but come on in Jesus' name. How many of you know God can turn and God can shift and God can cause some things to go his way by prayer, come on, by fasting, by declaration. And so we speak it this month in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Shabbatuku shata. Yeah, in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you today, Father, that you are exposing and you are uncovering, Father, every form of wickedness, every form of darkness, every form of traps, every trap that has been set, every form of disruption that has been set in transportation. Lord, we pray over our airlines. We pray over pilots. We pray over airports. We pray over transportation in Jesus name, where the enemy is trying to reap havoc. Lord God, even in the airlines industry, even in the airports, we pray over every airport. We pray over every gate, every entry point. We pray over t every TSA checkpoint. We pray for those that may be lurking and working amongst the airport in Jesus name that have a plot and plan against this nation against nations we pray in jesus name that they will be discovered uncovered and revealed in the name of jesus hallelujah i feel like praying this morning every form of transportation trans transportation the buses the railways come on every form of communication we declare in jesus name lord god we thank you today hallelujah Father, that you're ministering, warring angels are warring on our behalf. And so we pray, pray this morning that the weapons of our warfare, as they are not carnal, but they are mighty through God in Jesus name. And so, Father, we thank you for a mighty anointing to pray, a mighty assignment to stand in the gap, a mighty purpose, Father, to legislate and declare and decree, Father, that you are glorified and you are magnified and you are exalted in Jesus name. Hallelujah. Do you believe that with me in the name of Jesus? And so, Father, we declare you said in your word whatsoever we bind. And so we pray this morning, Father, that you would bind every assignment of the enemy. Father, we thank you that you're binding all of Satan's wickedness. You're binding every lie. You're binding every demonic activity. Father, we thank you today that you're binding every lie. Father, you're, you're binding every unclarity in Jesus' name. And Father, those things that have built themselves up as strong men in regions and seasons, Lord God, we declare in Jesus' name that the gates of hell will not prevail. And we declare in Jesus' name that the enemy's plots and plans is frustrated. I feel like praying this morning. In Jesus' name. Yeah, I feel like praying in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you that you are shutting doors. Lord, that you are shutting every door that needs to be shut and you're opening door, every door that needs to be opened. Father, we thank you that in the spiritual realm, in the natural realm, that Lord, you have given us power, resurrection power, authority to pray, to speak, and to declare over your house, over your home, over your family, over your situation, over your circumstance in Jesus name. Lord, we thank you, Father, that the blood still works. And so we apply the blood of Jesus over this city, over this house where we occupy. We thank you, Father, for the ambassadors. We thank you for those that are connected and we pray the blood of Jesus over the gates of your city. We pray the blood of Jesus over the border of your county. We pray the blood of Jesus over your state this morning. We pray the blood of Jesus over your house this morning. We declare the blood on the doorpost of our house over everything that we occupy, our properties, our houses, our cars, our children, our workplaces, in schools, in Jesus name. The blood prevails in Jesus name. The enemy is defeated 
I said the enemy is defeated in the name of Jesus. We come against every death assignment, every premature death, every wickedness that will try to come against your family through death, through murder, through suicide. We cancel that assignment in Jesus' name. Lord, in the Abadoko, I feel like praying this morning. Shabandoko Shata. Lord, every area of our lives, whether enemy, Lord, whether it be sickness, disease, every form of cancer, every form of attack in the bodies of your people, we cancel it in Jesus' name. Shabadoku shata. I feel like praying. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God, I thank you for divine connection this morning. Father, I thank you, Father, that your kingdom come and your will be done in the life of every man and woman that's watching. Lord, those that are tuning in, those that are listening, those that are connecting. Father, we thank you today, Father God, that, Lord, there is nothing too hard for you. And so, Lord, I declare that in this month, every impossibility is becoming possible. Father, I thank you, Father, for making a way out of no way. Father, I thank you today for opening Red Seas, for lowering Jericho walls. And I thank you today, Father God, that every 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 uncircumcised Philistine and every giant that's in our path is beheaded in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Father, we bind the hand of the enemy this morning. Father, we bind the hand of every serpent and every demonic spirit. Lord God, through witchcraft, through voodoo, through negativity, through generational curse. Lord, we curse it in the name of Jesus at the root and we sever it right now. And we declare, hallelujah, this month is blessed. Yeah, I declare this month is prosperous. Lord, we thank you for warring angels that are on their assignment. Lord, we thank you for angels that, Lord God, you have assigned to us individually and corporately. And Lord, we pray, Father God, that they will prevail. We thank you, Father God, that they will be in place. Lord, we put them in assignment today, Father God, to cover, to protect, Lord God, to warn, to shift. Lord God, we pray against accidents. We pray against mishaps. We pray against, Lord God, that assignment against those that are on the highways and byways. Lord, I pray for those that are in the trucking business, those that are in the delivery business, those that are in the transportation business. Lord, I pray for safety in the name of Jesus. And I pray, Father, Lord God, that you would move in every area of our lives. Lord, today, we thank you today that you are destroying and you are canceling every unrighteous agreement. Lord, whether it be knowingly or unknowingly, Lord, you are destroying every unrighteous agreement. Why? Because we are the righteousness of God. Mm -hmm. Say it. Every unrighteousness agreement, maybe that you've committed with somebody, maybe that you've made with a, 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 a person, a place. We declare every unrighteous agreement is canceled, is nullified, is stopped, is stagnated, is destroyed in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And Father, we pray right now. Lord God, over this season, over this month, that whatever is to come, Lord, you be glorified and you be exalted. Lord, we pray, Father, not by power, not by might, but by your spirit. And we thank you, Father God, Lord, that you are shutting the doors in Jesus name. By faith today, we are shutting the doors on the past season. What that what has happened or taking place in January, February, March. We close the door on that. Come on in Jesus name and we declare we're praying this over our nation. Come on in Jesus name. We're praying this over the border. We're praying this over communities. We're praying this over people. In Jesus name. Come on. We, we've accepted death in some type of way, right? But I'm going to tell you this. Jesus, uh, he died so that we can live. And we speak life today over you. We speak that you will live and not die, but declare the works of the Lord. We pray right now in Jesus name that the Lord will be your strength. We pray right now you may have suffered loss. You may be grieving. You may be bereaving. You may be in a place of depression. But I want to just say this as they said in Psalm 24. Lift up your head, O ye gates, and be lifted up as the king of glory shall come in. 
who is the king of glory, the Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. And so we thank you this season, Lord, uh, for a great victory in the spirit. We thank you for a great victory in every measure and every level of warfare. Father, we thank you, Father, for the mantle of prayer. We thank you. Uh, people want mantles to preach. People want mantles to do great things. But I thank you, Father, for mantles of prayer in this season that you are stirring us, that you are cultivating us, that you are transforming us into intercessors, into those that will fill the gap and cause some things to shift in this nation. Father, I thank you that we are on the brink of revival and i pray for the light of jesus christ to shine <laughs> yeah i pray for the light of god to shine in the name of jesus gina ford i see you that thought that you shared the other day about your father it blessed me i watched it i was blessed by all your siblings i see you this morning gina blessings to you we pray for you and we thank you father for a legacy of deacon larue ford and we bless the Lord, the Ford family, and we bless Lord every everything in this season in their life as they transition, as they just move forward uh, in destiny. And we thank you today, Father, for evidence. We thank you, Father, for a testimony. Come on, isn't it good to have a, a host of witnesses? The Lord's the Scripture says this: there are a host of witnesses. Come on, a believing and and causing us and pushing us and saying, go forth in this season, believe in this season. Let me speak this to you. I don't know what, what last month and what the last few months were like, but in the name of Jesus, I want to declare it that you will arise. Uh, yeah, arise and shine for your light has come. Can we read that this morning? I want to read that over you today and uh, encourage you in that today. I, again, I, I don't come today to deal with foolishness. I come today, you know, in Miami, we say foolery, right? I don't have time for that. Uh, but this morning we coming to build your faith. We coming this morning to build your expectation. We coming today to push you deeper into the things of God. We coming today to stir up the gift that is within you. Come on, those gifts that are laying dormant, those gifts that are, that you've been sitting on. Come on, that mantle and that mandate that God has put inside of you to shift some things, some shift, and, uh, some some things that the enemy has put before us. Come on, we know this that we're not warring. Lord, based on what we feel, we're warring. Come on, based on what we know. And the Bible says, those that know their God. Mm -hmm. Those that know their God shall do great exploits. Yeah. Somebody said, those that know their God shall do great exploits. Mm -hmm. God, I thank you for greatness today. I thank you for greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. So we pray this morning for greatness, a greater measure of greatness. We pray for a greater measure of hunger. We pray for a greater measure, Father God, of Lord God, your authority in our life that as we stand and as we agree, Lord, we agree by faith, Lord, in Jesus name. Hallelujah. That your word shall be established in Jesus name. Come on, help me out this morning. Somebody declare it in Jesus' name. If you agree this morning, say it in the chat, in Jesus' name. I don't know what you're waking it up to. I don't know if you're on spring break, if you're on your way to work, but you need to declare it. You need to prophesy over this month. And that's it. We prophesy today, Lord God, that this month will be a month that will give you glory and honor all the way into Pentecost. God, we thank you, Father, for the next, uh, is it 40 days, 50 days. We thank you for the next uh, 50 days of transformation and change lord as we declare father god that every day that we go forth lord we will go forth in victory we will go forth in power we will go forth in grace we will go forth in healing we will go forth hallelujah in jesus name uh -huh. come on let me declare this over you isaiah 60 arise and shine for your light has come and the glory of the lord is risen upon you for behold, the darkness shall cover the earth and deep darkness the people. But the Lord will arise over you and his glory will be seen upon you. Somebody say, that's me. I feel like praying for a moment. God, I thank you this morning.
that lord according to your word lord you are calling us you are beckoning us you are signing us you are establishing us Lord, you are stirring in us in Jesus' name, a month to arise and shine. Father, I thank you, Father, that there is light coming out of darkness. Father, I thank you that you have made us the light. And Lord God, in this season, Lord, we will have flavor and we will have focus. And Lord, we will have fervency in the name of Jesus that, Lord, we will be the light of this season. How about the cool shot? Uh, somebody said, that's me. I'm going to arise. Somebody said this morning, I'm getting up and I'm going to shine. Somebody need to prophesy. I'm going to arise and shine because my light has come. Declare it today. Jesus didn't resurrect so that you can have a one day celebration. This is an everyday lifestyle. And this is the, I feel like praying. This is the mandate that he has given us in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Arise and shine. Come on, Chantel, you and your husband, arise and shine. He says, for your light has come and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. Come on, just sing it. Let the glory of the Lord rise upon you in the name of Jesus. I said, let the glory of the Lord rise upon you in all of your endeavors. Come on, let the, let the glory of the Lord rise upon you. As you go to work, let the glory of the Lord rise upon you in your ministry. Let the glory of the Lord rise upon you in your natural body, in your physical being. Let the glory of the Lord. Habandukos, I said the glory. I didn't say the doom and gloom. I didn't say the confusion. I didn't say the fear. I didn't say the gossip. I didn't say the sin. I didn't say the wickedness. I don't care what the enemy is plotting and planning in the name of Jesus. We address and confess that the devil is defeated and that Satan and his imps in Jesus' name will be exposed and uncovered and defeated by the blood. Habadukoshata. Come on, every demonic assignment against you and your mind, against you and your body and your family, we curse it at the root, we uproot it, and we shut down their assignment in Jesus' name. I feel like praying this morning. If you're watching and tuning in, welcome. Shabado koshata. Habando koshete bababa shanta. God, I thank you that the glory of the Lord has risen upon us. And Lord, it's uh, Lord, the glory of the Lord is risen in Miami. The glory of the Lord is risen in Jacksonville. The glory of the Lord is risen in Atlanta. The glory of the Lord is risen in Chicago. The glory of the Lord is written in South Carolina, North Carolina, in Texas, in Philadelphia. The glory of the Lord is risen in Mexico, in, in, in Los Angeles, in San Diego, in the name of Jesus. Somebody say the glory of the Lord. May the glory of the Lord rise in Baltimore, in every city. Father, every significant place in this country, every significant spot, every bridge, every statue, every place of remembrance from the White House, Lord God, to every field, to every place that has a significance pertaining to this country and this nation. Father, we thank you, Father, for speaking to us, for bringing back to our remembrance to seek your face, to seek you, Father God. And Lord, we come and we not lean not on our own understanding, but we acknowledge you this morning. We acknowledge you in all of our ways. We acknowledge you as the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. We acknowledge you as the great I am. I feel like praying the names of God this morning. Can we do that? Come on, his names are his characteristics. And so we declare, Father, that you are Jehovah. For he says, I am that I am. And Lord, I thank you that, Lord, you are all what we need in this season. So we assigned you this morning. We commit to you this morning. We come to you this morning and we declare there is no God like Jehovah. How about the cool? Judy used to say it. I saw, I saw uh, Sister Pollock sing this song on Saturday. There is no God like Jehovah. Shabadoko shata. Somebody declare that this morning. How about declare it in your house? You might have to wake somebody up. Come on, you might have to bring your dog subject to the authority of Jesus Christ this morning. There is no God. I declare it in Conyers, Georgia. There is no God like Jehovah. I declare it in the Johnson family. There is no God like Jehovah. Ah, in Jesus' name, no graven image, no statue, no false doctrine, no religion. There is no God like Jehovah. Why? Because he is the most high God. Somebody say he's El Elyon. He's over, above, and beyond what you can ask 
or what you can think. He's over every principality. He's over dominions and mights. Come on, I don't care what man do. I don't care who the powers are that be. There is no God like Jehovah. Why? Because he's the most high. And we declare, Father God, that you have called us to be seated in heavenly places. So we ascend into the air, to the aerial warfare. We ascend into realms and dimensions in prayer. And we thank you, Father, that you have given us the authority to pull down strongholds and vain imaginations and everything that lift itself against the will of God. Lord, we bring our thoughts subject, Father God, to your perfect will. And we thank you today, Father God, that as we go higher, Lord, you're calling us beyond where we've been. Lord, wherever we were in the past month, I thank you, Father. You're calling us deeper. Lord, you're calling us higher. Father, you're calling us beyond. Lord, what we can feel, what we can think, or what we can even imagine. I feel like praying this morning. In the name of Jesus, if you're on your way to work, if you're, if you're listening this morning, however you're tuning in, you didn't tap into just another virtual prayer time. In the name of Jesus, we're shifting this month. We're shifting this year. We're shifting cities and regions. We're shifting apostolically and prophetically. We're shifting with the authority of our words. We think that there is authority in our voice print. So we're releasing it today. And we declare in Jesus name that God's will shall be established in the name of Jesus because he is the most high. In the name of Jesus I don't know are you getting this this morning Maybe somebody don't you tapped in And you watching you don't know where you at or what you're listening to But in the name of Jesus We declare that God will begin to move and break through In your life I declare that the will Of God will be established in this season According to everything that we've spoken Why because he is the most high God And we exalt him come on there are Little gods but there is no God like Jehovah Shabado Koshat Ha I feel like praying this morning. God, I thank you that this morning we speak and we create what we create opportunities. We create resources. We create provision. We create protection. Father God, I thank you that you are Elohim. You are the God of creation. And Lord, as we're made in your images, we're made in your likeness. God, I thank you that you are creating a way out of no way. Father, I thank you that you are creating opportunities. You're creating blessings. You're creating breakthroughs. You're creating strategies. You're creating insights in prayer. In Jesus' name, I don't know what you came for this morning, but y'all done tapped into a stream. There's a stream this morning where you can believe and you can ask God for anything. Nothing is too hard for him. Why? Because he is more than enough. Watch this. When we call him El Shaddai, we declare that you are God of the much more. Somebody say he's much more. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He's much more than what I went through before He's much more than what I can understand today Yeah, he's much more than just giving you some things He's much more than giving you a promotion on your job He's much more than cancer He's much more, come on in Jesus' name Than any, any dis-ease in your life yeah, I said he's much more Rabbi Babo Shata I feel like praying this morning uh, are you getting this this morning? Somebody declared, I need about 50 people to say he's much more. I, I might not feel like I, I'm, I'm all together. I might not be in the right place. I might have some struggles and some sin, but he's much more than my struggles in Jesus' name. I said he's much more in Nicholas's life. He's much more in Lamoria's life. He's much more. Hey, hey, yeah, somebody said he's much more. Yeah, he's much more. Are y'all getting this this morning? I said he's much more. I want to remind you this month <laughs> that he is much more. Much more than you can ask, than you can think, than you can imagine. If there's a shortage in the grocery store, he's much more. If you can't put gas in your car, he's much more. You can't charge your car. He's much more. Come on. Uh, come on, my gosh. You might not know what's going on with your children, but he's much more than what you think is going on. Come on. Hey, you might have lost somebody. You might have lost something. He's much more. Yeah. Listen, you know, let me say this. The Bible says to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. You know what that reminds me? Is that he's much more. Yeah, he's much more. So this morning, Father, we declare as you're the most high, we lift up and we wave the banner. The Bible says he's Jehovah Nisi and he is the banner. And so we declare he is a strong tower. 
the righteous run into it and they are saved. Are you with me this morning? He's your shield. He's your buckler. And so when you declare that today, say, say it, Jehovah Nisi, he's my shield. Mm-hmm. And so over every sin, sickness, poverty, we declare in Jesus name and we lift up the banner uh, uh, and we declare that he is much more. We raise the banner. We arise and raise the banner. We raise the banner and we declare that he is much more. He is much more than anything that the enemy has tried to sow in your, into your life. He is much more than any line the enemy has tried to speak into your life. He is much more than some of the things that you've seen in your family. I said he is much more. Come on. Your block, your street, your neighborhood might be tripping, might be on something else, might be chaotic. I said he is much. When you realize he is much more, may the boldness of God build up your day, build up your life, build up your month. In Jesus' name, I want to declare this today that he is Jehovah Rapha. Why is this important? Because he is the Lord that heals me. Do you know him as Jehovah Rapha today? How many of you know him as a healer today? Come on, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not here to ask you if you hope God heals you. You know he's, he's a healer today. And, and, and sometimes we don't understand why, but I want you to declare that today. He is the Lord that heals me, heals me emotionally, heals me physically, heals me spiritually. Come on in Jesus. This month is a month. I pray it over you today. I believe it today with you. I stand in agreement that he will heal you. Hallelujah. Maybe from a broken relationship, maybe from a broken marriage, maybe from, come on, you've gone through something and it has, it has hurt you. It has wounded you. You're bleeding. There is so much inside. There is so many offenses. There are so many things that have caused you to bleed. But I declare he is Jehovah Rapha, the Lord that heals. Yeah, somebody say he's the Lord that heals. Why? Because of the stripes of Jesus Christ. No plague, no sickness, no disease shall come near your dwelling. Come on in Jesus' name. Just present your body as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto him. This is your reasonable service. And we, sp we stand in agreement today that the Lord is your healer and you are already healed in Jesus name hallelujah I want you to get this today right we say this a lot where well, I've been saying this the Lord is my righteousness I am the righteousness of God Jehovah Tiskanu says he's the Lord my righteousness and because he is my righteousness because he is your righteousness said he has put me in right standing the righteousness of god puts you in right standing no matter where you are today no matter what you're facing no matter what's before you today just say lord put me in right standing you want to overcome some areas maybe some struggles see a lot of times we're looking for the formula and we're looking for the right faith word and all of that nah just simply, if you're watching today and you're tuning in, I don't know, I got a few minutes, but I want you to see this. We got 105 people watching and 56 likes. I want you to get this understanding from this start. If you don't get anything else I say today, if you don't get anything, Cousin Jackie, blessings to you. If you don't get anything else this morning, I want you to say, Lord, put me in right standing with you. Put me in right standing with you. Lord, put me in right standing with you. This is how righteousness is established. It's not established by what you wear, how many days you fast, how eloquent your tongues are, how much oil you got on your doors and windows of your house. Righteousness is saying, Lord, I want to be right when I stand before you. And all of my sin and all of my faults and all of my struggles. I am the righteousness of God. Lord, put me, Lord, position me, Lord, posture me. 
even in this difficult season, maybe you're challenged, maybe something going on. You're not sharing it in the chat. Maybe you're watching and you're not communicating, but you listening. If you ain't getting nothing else I said or prayed or declared or decreed or said in this morning, just say, Lord, place me in right standing with you. He told Joshua, he said, everywhere that your feet go, see the placement of God. The placement of God will never lead you astray. The, the placement of God will fulfill every aspect of your life. See, a lot of times we trying to be in the right place at the right time. But I'm going to tell you in this season, all hell can break out. All chaos can be around you. The key to God's provision and protection is where you stand. He told Moses, Moses, take off your shoes because where you are standing is holy ground. What he was doing, he was removing every unrighteous way of Moses. He was removing the unrighteous ways of Egypt, of Moses, of, of everything that he experienced, of false gods, right? Of injustice, everything that he experienced right in pharaoh's house he said i'm removing that even even to the point of murder he said you murdered a man i want you to remove that because where you stand the way that you've been you can't stand in this place when god stands you in his righteousness come on every impurity every sin every lie every temptation this good preaching right here i'm preaching better than y'all understanding today i uh, see we gotta understand this we want you can't just say i am the righteousness of god without allowing God to remove some stuff out of your life. Some, I call it stank. <laughs> Can I say it like I feel it stank? See, God, I want to be in a place of right standing with you. Remove the stank. Remove the stagnations. Remove the stupid. God, as we begin this month, I thank you, Father, for you being our righteousness. Lord, because you said you would never leave us nor forsake us. And so this morning, I pray, Lord, as your word says, you will never leave us nor forsake us. That, Lord, you are Jehovah Shammah. You are always with us. Jehovah Shammah says, I am with you. Why? Because I'm the same yesterday, today and forever. I'm the Alpha and Omega. I'm the beginning and the end. And I am with you even today. As I was with you January 1st, if you are here and you're amongst the living with me right now, then you got to understand this. God is still with us. No matter what has happened, no matter what transpires in the days to come, we know this, that God is with us. And if God be for you, if he be with you, <laughs> who in the world could be against you? I said, who in the world could be against you? You know, somebody asked me about, I'm going I'm to answer this question here. Somebody asked me about not being able to sleep after 3 a.m. I'm going to answer this publicly. If the Lord is waking you up, if and, and it's the Lord, Satan ain't waking you up. The Lord is waking you up at 3 a.m. If you can't sleep after 3 a.m., you got to understand 3 a.m. Is a, is a prayer watch. It's a prayer time. If you don't know how to pray, right, ask the Lord to, to teach you how to pray. I'm answering this question publicly. Somebody sent me this message. I know who you are, but I'm just saying it because I don't want to say who you are. Ugh. Yeah, the Lord is calling you higher. I'm going to say that. And not to just, and I'm not saying it just for you individually, but it could be for somebody that's watching. Maybe the Lord is calling you to press in more. Hallelujah. Maybe he's causing an awakening in your life. 
Maybe he's saying, I want you to seek me. I want you to get into my presence. I want you to understand who I am. I want you to pray. I want you to, if you can't do nothing, find you something on YouTube to listen to that will build your faith. The Lord is waking you up. He's calling you and, and listen, arise and shine. And if you got to arise at 3 a.m., it's not because you can't sleep. It's not because the enemy is tormenting you. It's because God is saying, I want you to wake up. I want you to shift the day. I want you to command the morning. I want you to break some curses. I want you to lay some ground. I want you to shift some atmospheres and not just in your city, but I want you to do it in different cities. I want you to do it in different regions. Come on. I want you to begin to pray and to seek me. And I want you to be an intercessor on behalf of not just your family, but on behalf, on behalf of somebody you may not know. You may not even be able to talk to. You may not even have a relationship with. And so I pray in Jesus name that as there is a stirring to awaken you, to equip you, to anoint you come on some things god has to wake you up into yeah i gotta go i gotta go come on he's calling you higher i said he's calling you higher and we declare in jesus name that in this season you will not be overlooked in this season you will not be defeated in this season you will not miss your time you will not miss the moment. I pray in this season that the Lord will sharpen your discernment. I pray in this season that the Lord will equip you for every victory that you've been struggling to. Oh, listen, some of you, I like, I, I mean, I'm gonna just say it. You had the threshold of a change and a transformation in your life and in your family. And we pray that God's word will be so in your life. Somebody say it's so. It's so. Somebody says so. I'm going to leave you with these thoughts right here. I tried to go into something else today, but I just felt like praying. I'm going to leave you, leave, leave you with these thoughts. Um, what's important is that you've got to be word conscious in this season. you got to be word conscious in this season. I, um, I don't know if you, if you know who uh, Charles Caps is. But um, I felt led for this month to just pull this little book off the shelf, uh, The Tongue of Creative Force. And it's probably been stirring me. This is an old book. Um, you know the book is old when the pages start turning yellow, right? I had this. I usually write when I get a book uh, in my walk. But this was early in my faith walk. I wrote a lot in here in pencil. I, don't, I haven't written in pencil in a while. Um, but in this book, there were some points that I said, you know what? This thing's stirring me. And um, what's important in this season, you've got to watch your words. You've got to be word conscious. Even in your thought pattern, you've got to be word conscious. Right? I'm going to give you this thought for this month. You've got to be word conscious. What you say and what you speak. Some of us aren't speaking anything. Your voice print is going to determine, watch this, how God brings victory in your life. So I want you to hear this today. I want you to hear this, right? I want you to write this down and maybe somebody put it in the chat on Facebook and YouTube and uh, Facebook and YouTube. But I want you to understand this, that your words uh, is going to be key to your authority and your victory in this season, right? Are you listening? Are you listening to me? Let me lower this track so that way there is no distraction. I'm going to say it to you again. Your words are important. Your words, how you're going to be able to endure and shift. This is what I realized. We celebrated one of the most powerful days in Christendom on yesterday. But so many believers and so many people still don't understand the importance of Jesus Christ being the living word. And um, when I think about the bread of life, the children's bread is deliverance. And what does that mean? In other words, every area where I need breakthrough, deliverance is not just you uh, puking and, and coughing up demons, right? Some of us just need deliverance in our thought pattern and our soul. A lot of times it's not a demon. I mean, hell, I don't know why I'm here, but you got to understand your, your spiritual life, your natural life is governed and established by 
the word. And I'm not just talking about a preached word. I hope this is for, I don't know who this is for this morning, but let me know if this is for you. You ain't got to let me know in the chat if you don't want to, but I want you to get this. Your words are going to be important in this season. If you want to, if you want to get victory, and I know it could be an easy way out in, in the body of Christ, right? To just name it and claim it. No, you got to live this. You can't just name it and claim it. You've got to live this. If you believe the word, then the word must be so in your life. I'm not talking about you sat in church yesterday and it was good. You had a glorious resurrection. But will you see the evidence of resurrection in your life? The evidence of resurrection will start by what you speak, what you say, what you confess, what you declare and decree, and it will be established. I'm not just manifest. The earth is not groaning for the manifestation of things. The earth is groaning for the manifestation of sons. One of the greatest manifestations that the Bible speaks of and releases is not the manifestation of cars, houses, and in material things, but the manifestation of sons. I can't stay here too long. The earth is groaning. The earth is looking for you to arise and to manifest as a son and daughter, not to manifest things that you want that carry no weight in the kingdom of God. Hey, are y'all listening today? Let me teach you for a moment and address that. Right. And so you got to understand, write this down. The spirit world is controlled, is regulated by the word of God. Write that down. The spirit world. There is so much. Are you listening? I maybe, maybe y'all not getting this. Maybe y'all not getting this. Maybe, maybe y'all not getting this. Maybe y'all not getting this. Maybe y'all not getting this. I said, I said, I said, the spirit world, the spirit world is real. I, I, there were some things that have been happening. This has been happening lately more than often. I got, I got four minutes and I'm going to close. I got four minutes. The spirit world is so real. Have you experienced this lately and more in a more frequent way? I'm going to show you just how simple, let me be simple because there are a lot of people. If I share with you some of the things that have been coming forth out of the spirit realm, you probably will think I'm crazy, but I am for, to trust God and to know what I see. But I'm going to say it as simple as this. Have you uh, ever thought about somebody called somebody and then they showed up or they, and they answered they answer. Let me say you thought about calling somebody or thought about seeing somebody. And then the next day or within hours, they call you. Have you have you been in a place where, you know, you maybe had one thought about somebody and then they showed up the next day or something connected you? It's 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 not creepy. It's not foolish. It's understanding that the spirit world. And even, have you been talking about somebody? I've been doing this. I just, and you know, I've done this several times and people say, you know, oh, you got the Holy Ghost or you're going to live long. You know, all of this stuff they say, right? But what it is, is confirmation for confirmation for confirmation for confirmation that the spirit world is real. And you could be speaking about somebody and they show up. And, and I got a check um, maybe a week or two ago that just as I speak about somebody to somebody, right? Or make reference or remember somebody in a good way, right? And speak it. And then they come up and then they call. What I realize is that this is a dimension of the spirit realm where there is no delay on your words. This is a dimension of the spirit realm where the words that we speak are accelerating at a rate to catch up with the natural realm or the natural realm catches up with the spiritual realm. That's what I want to say. Are you listening to what I'm saying? So the spirit realm is controlled by the word of God. Did I have a scripture? I got a scripture, but I'm, I'm not going to read it. I'm not going to read it. No, I got a slide. I'm giving y'all enough. Are you seeing this? So do you realize the word of God is where we've got to come out? If we're going to defeat the enemy, if we're going to shut down some stuff, let me tell you this, beloved. There are so many things that are happening 
that we cannot be carnal minded and natural minded without understanding how the word of God works in the spirit realm. So write that down. The spirit world is controlled by the word of God. I don't care where, where <clears throat> see, wherever Nicholas is, I realize in the spirit world, the word of God concerning Nicholas shall come to pass. Are you understanding what I'm saying? Are you understanding what I'm saying? You cannot, I'm not talking about vibes, vibrations. Come on, listen to what I'm saying. I'm not talking about no vibrations, vibes, energy. I'm talking about spirit. <laughs> yeah, let me help some of y'all. Some, let me help some of y'all, you know. If you choose to say your vibrations, no. Your spirit realm, the spirit realm, the atmosphere is controlled and governed by the word of God. I want you to remember this. Number two, the natural world is controlled. Watch this. The natural world is to be governed or controlled by man speaking God's word. If you don't speak God's word in your house and in your atmosphere, you give room to the enemy. All the, all the sounds through TV, through, through music, through conversations that go on in your house. <laughs> Unless God builds a house, they labor in vain. How does God build your house? God builds your house through the word. And if you are going to manifest or establish, come on, God's word in your house, then you got to realize this. The natural world is to be controlled by man speaking God's word. Speak God's word. Speak it. I don't care if people say you always quoting scripture. You better speak it. Your children need to hear more word come out of your mouth than gossip. I'm going to go. Your children need to hear more word come out of your mouth than profanity. I'm, I'm really finna go. Your children need to hear, watch this, more word come out of your mouth than criticism about the service yesterday. Let me speak to those that got young children. And so when you think about this, their spirit has been shaped by your inability to understand God's word in your house as a deficiency or lacking it establishes a deficiency of God's spirit in your, in your house. Does this make sense? Okay. And so when you speak the word, this is this month, we're going to dig into this. I pulled this little book off the shelf. Charles Capps got a few of them, right? I pulled all of them off. I said, I'm getting back into this success motivation. These little books, these little thought books, right? I'm a Charles Cap junkie. Some of you might, you can go to Charles Cap on YouTube and listen to some of uh, uh, his teaching. What am I doing here? I'm, a, I'm equipping you. I'm equipping you to understand this. You don't wait. Don't get on. Let me say this. I say this a million times. I do. Don't get on here looking for me to have the word. If you're not getting in God's word, looking for you to have a word. I, I, are you listening to what I'm saying? Do not become dependent on man's ability to go a place that God said I'm calling you to. Do not become dependent upon man's ability to go to a place that God is calling you to. Do not. Um, hello. I got to go. I'm two minutes over and my time is up. If you've been blessed by this broadcast, if you've been encouraged by this broadcast, I want to pray for you today as I close. And Father, we thank you and we bless you for these that are watching. We thank you, Father, for all of the things, Lord, that we have said, prayed and believed on this broadcast this morning. Lord, we begin this month in you. We begin this month knowing that nothing is too hard for you. So I pray for every person um, that is in the chat and that is watching, that is listening, that is tuning in, that is agreeing. Lord, wherever they are, those that will watch the replay and those that will watch five minutes of it. Lord, wherever they are, I pray, Lord, that something that is said and done will touch them, impact them, transform them. And Lord, let this month, Lord, in all of our lives be a great time of miracle signs and wonders. That is your word. My house is a house of prayer for all nations. And I declare that there are signs, wonders and miracles that will follow because we believe the word of the Lord 
in Jesus name. We pray, we seal it. It is done. Amen. And amen. Listen, if you've been blessed today, this is not a foolish day. This is a faith filled day. I want to pray that uh, whatever you do today, do it all as unto the Lord. If you want to sow into this ministry, these are ways that you can sow. Have a blessed and wonderful, outstanding and great day. Uh, this is your revelation moment. I love you. I appreciate you. And uh, have a blessed day. Bye for now. Shalom. Shalom.
Capitán. Voy a...